Minions is based on the Despicable Me movies characters, the Minions, and now they have their own film. They work alongside Gru in the first two Despicable Me movies, and now they are trying to find a boss that they can work with because throughout their existence they find these bosses, these big bad people, and they work for them and everything goes wrong and they end up killing them. They can't function without a boss. So three of the minions, Kevin, Stuart, and Bob, end up traveling to Manhattan to try to find a boss. They end up going to VillainCon in Orlando where they work beside Scarlet Overkill voiced by Sandra Bullock. We got a little prequel to Despicable Me with the minions and who they worked for before grew. To be honest with you, I don't really care for Despicable Me 1 and 2. They're okay films and the only thing that really worked for me were the minions. They are hilarious, they have their own language, they're quirky, they're fun. I just absolutely love these characters. And so I was truly excited to see a Minions movie. I was just a little bit worried of how we would be able to understand the story when they have their own language. We don't know really what they're saying. So how would a story work with that? And I think the story worked really well. They did a great job with the narrator and Sandra Bullock's character and all the human characters being able to keep us up to date with what the story is happening. You can understand the Minions a little bit. They say like things like, okay, thank you, and names of places so I'm able to understand them a little bit. The minions just have a lot of energy. They are always ticking, they're always looking at something, they're always doing something. And that's what this film is like. It has a lot of energy. And that's what this movie does. There's a lot of energy in this movie. There's a lot of times in this movie where it just catches me off guard and makes me really laugh. I didn't see certain scenes turning out how they were going to so I was really surprised with some of the scenes in here and how they made me laugh. Unfortunately a lot of the funny scenes in the movie are from the trailer and I still managed to laugh at them but a lot of the other times in the movie they weren't just as funny as I was expecting them to be. It's a very quick film, very fast paced, a simple story. And they spent a lot of time in the beginning explaining the minions, how they became to be a lot of their bosses, and it's a good 10-15 minutes of the movie. But then right afterwards it's just very fastly paced, but it has a very simple story to it, but still manages to make me laugh and has a lot of energy in it. The voice cast for Sandra Bullock was great. She was a Dr. Jankel, Mr. Hyde type character where she was very sweet to the minions but she let them know that she will kill them if they mess up. So there's a good balance between good and evil with Scarlet Overkill that was very enjoyable to watch. The humans were a great addition to the story. The minions were fun, a lot of energy. They made me laugh and I liked it more than Despicable Me 1 and 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Minions a B. This is Justin Watching Movies with his review of Minions, which is a prequel of sorts to the two Despicable Me movies. So this is Justin Watching Movies. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Justin Watching Movies for more upcoming movie reviews. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.